Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can actually use these statistics that are given in the Spread Monster. These are pretty easy to read and as well as very, very useful. Starting out with the first one, we have the bull count high below the ball long 512.01. So what is it actually telling you? It's telling you that the probability of forming the high below the ball long, which is 512.01, even right here, is only not only but 80 percent so the high forming above it is only 19.23 percent that is actually given right here that the bull count high at or above the max average 512.01 is 19.23 percent and these two are the same price so the odds also add up to 100 coming to the beer beer count low above the boy chart 499.79 so it's telling you that the odds of forming the low of the day above the wall chart, this wall chart right here, is 76%. And then the next one is for the below, beer count low at or below the 499.79 price is 23.0%. Now these two have to 100 because these two are the same price. Okay. Now coming to the next one. This is the odds of forming the 3H on Monday, November 25, is 61.54%. It is just that the same we had in our options analyzer. So this is using the spread monster data to predict that. Okay, then moving on, we have the odds of Monday close above 505.79. So it's telling me that the 4 p.m. close should be above the 505.79 price. And we are given the odd for that, that is 64%, right? This is a really good thing about this spread monster, that it is making us very, very clear about the bias of the day, as it, it is just simply telling us that it is either going to be bullish or bearish according to the previous day close. As you can see that the previous day close was 505.79, and here it is telling us the odds of forming the high of the day or you can say just the lows of the day above that price right it's 64 percent so it's higher than 50 percent so our bias is automatically bullish but some days we see that the odds are around 70 percent and 80 percent so those are of course high probability days and one should participate in those right and moving on we have the theoretical prices now these are very simple and very very useful actually the long theoretical price at or above 506.35 so it's telling me that okay i'm gonna just make this very, very clear for you so it's just telling you that the price crossing 506.35 the odds for that is only 42 percent they just say that the price is at 506 and you see that the odds for 506.35 is given so the system is telling you that the odds to even reach and break the 506.35 price point is 40%. Let's go for a lower uh, odd, okay, like the 8% right here. So it's telling you that if you see the market even near that 512.18 price point, then expect to see the goods breaking. Okay, because the odds of more continuation and the break of this price is given 8%. So there is an 8% chance that your calls will work and there are 92% chance that your puts will work. Right? Of course, you can see outline of days, but that are not in our, in our control, right? We need to go with the high probability odds to have a higher win rate and of course, develop confidence while free. And this is it, right? These are actually data derived odds that are given to you by the spread monster, right? Now moving on, we have the short theoretical prices. These are just as the long one as it is telling us the all the price breaking below a particular price point, like right here. Short theoretical price at or below 500.37. It is given at the percent. So if you see price even getting near that price, you should be looking for calls, right? Because they are 88% probability of working. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm just going to repeat that. 
with the burning high used with the long theoretical price that the odds of the price even reaching and breaking that 500.37 price point is 12% okay and here the occurrences are given like right here for our 12% one 7 out of 52 times we have seen the price crossing this price point of course it depends on the day to day and this price will change but the system is actually calculating that out for us just to actually give out the percentage now there's just one more thing that you can do with these odds that you can actually arrange them from higher to low and lower to high like right here from low to high you can see all these odds are just distributed now if you are you know just looking for outliner odds these are given right here now you're not looking for outliner odds and you want something high probability you just click on them again now you have the high probability odds like the beer count low at or the low the 505.99 so the low of the day forming below 505.99 is 88 percent chance so i hope that makes sense to you now i'm pretty much sure that 511.45 is high is the high of the day for november 25 because we saw the odds to actually break the 51 512.01 were pretty low right okay let's just find that once again okay we have it right here the odds of breaking 512.01 is only 80 percent so of course the odds of working the puts working is 80 percent so of course we're gonna go we are gonna go for that right because we want to stick to the higher probability side and i hope that makes sense to you and this was all that you needed to know about the statistics that are given in this friend monster if you have any kind of doubts feel free to dm uh, me or begin